Hello, today we're going to try to reset the main address for one of the Buffalo Air Station repeater units. Uh, you can see up in the corner we've got the Air Station repeater unit. Uh, we're using a standard Windows PC. It happens to be a, a Dell GX280. It doesn't really matter. Running Windows XP. I'm going to zoom in on the screen so that you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, and there we go. Now, I've got a couple of windows open already. I've got the Internet Explorer on the left-hand side so that I can jump into the uh, web interface. On the right-hand side, I've got the status for my local area connection. And also, I've opened a small DOS window so that I can test configurations as we go. First thing I'm going to do is set my local uh, area connection to a, an IP address that's in the range of the unit. Standard unit will come once reset with 192.168.1. 11.100, so I'm going to set mine to 11.99. Uh, the subnet mask is standard, 255.255.255.0. That should do me. It takes a few seconds for the change to take, and to verify that the change is taken, I'm going to type ipconfig in my DOS window until, as you can see here, I actually have the correct address. Now, to make sure that I can get into the machine, I'm going to Try and ping it, 192.168.11.100, which should be the standard one for the air station. And I'm getting a proper response, so that tells me that I'm getting all the way through. Now I go up to my interface window, 192.168.11.100. It opens up a window saying, I have successfully connected. Uh, the username defaults to root. There's no password when the uh, machine comes completely new, so I'm going to type root. And sure enough, I'm able to log into the machine. I'm going to click on Advanced. Not going to make any changes yet, but under Advanced, under LAN port, LAN settings, uh, I'm going to change the address to 0 0.03. So 192.168.0.03. I'm going to change nothing else. The subnet mask, everything else. Click Apply. Within a few seconds, I'll drop the connection, reset the connection. Now again, I'm outside my address range for my local area connection, so I'm going to go back and make a change to my local PC. In this case, I'm going to change it to 0.2. So I'm in my address range, 192.168.0.2, uh, in the right subnet mask. Again, I'm going to click OK and close. Go back to my machine again, type ipconfig until I can see that the address is taken, which it has. I'm going to then ping the new device, which is 192.168.0.3. I see a response to ping, so therefore the change has taken on the device itself. So 192.168.0.3. Go back to my device, sure enough, and it's taken. Now one thing you may want to double check to make sure that all of these things are working uh, is to go into management. Uh, and system information just to make sure that you've got the correct version and firmware version. In this case, we're, uh, the official model is WA2-G54C uh, version 2.23. Uh, the wireless driver is 3.60.90. Uh, excuse me, 3.60.9.0. And there we have it.